What's up guys, it's Tellum, and oh my gosh, does this game just keep getting better and better and better, and I'm honestly enjoying myself a lot playing this game, both zombies and multiplayer lately, because... I just love all the updates we're getting and I just absolutely love everything they've been doing. That's one thing I'll thank Fortnite for, forcing the Call of Duty to become what it is right now and I just think it's better for the game and oh my gosh, absolutely great. But as you guys know, we got the order system inside Zombies today, which I know it's it's really late, it's like six months after the game launched, but regardless, I am just really happy with how this actually worked out because if you look at past reward systems or order systems, if you want to call them that, inside IW and Black Ops 3, they're like some half-baked crap that were just so bad that nobody was even really aware of, and really giving the, them the name half-baked is even work, that they were worse than half-baked. So that's why I was really working well excuse me worried about these ones but to my surprise these things are actually really good so we're actually going to go over the order system and something we actually got from the quartermaster that we will touch on also but first let's go to the order system but before I click on it I gotta say that I my biggest worry with these orders is that they're going to be like something that's very specific that you would have to like go out of your way to do and would be something you wouldn't normally do anyways and that was my biggest worry like what if it told me to go do something on the final Reich like go blow up some things with a very specific trap on the final Reich. It's all like, why am I going to play in the final Reich? Which, I'm not saying they should never have those, but those shouldn't be a part of the orders. And so let's actually look at these orders. So obviously you have your daily and weekly orders, and one thing I should point out real quick is that you do not see a special order here, but just like in multiplayer, the, it looks like the special orders are going to be occasional things, but we will be getting them inside zombies, just not now. I hope we get one at least tomorrow, because as you guys can see, these things are all refreshed refreshing tomorrow so maybe we will but anyways actually talking about these challenges that you have to do so you can see this first one is kill 20 pests with the melee attack that is perfect this is something you could do whenever you really want it's just so perfect it's just it's just a perfect oh my gosh I just can't get over how well the thing is actually worded also you can see the rewards which are a little underwhelming 200 armory credits I kind of wish it was more than that but whatever that's okay and then of course you have this next one that gives you also 200 armory credits but it's another something that you whatever I'll do it's not, not a problem to do I'll just do it. it doesn't matter and that's equip four blitzes or perks simultaneously not a problem at all I could do that anyways next one we have is again uh, kind of underwhelming but 200 armory credits and it says kill a bomber zombie with the bomb again who cares like it's pretty cool it's even if you don't do it, it's only 200 armory credits pretty cool then we get into the next one which gives you supply drop and it says kill 500 zombies with upgraded weapons that's fine I would do that anyways if I'm playing normally whatever I'm going to do it perfect perfect oh I just can't get over how perfect that is the next one we have is survive 25 waves on any zombies map in a single session okay I could do that that is that's actually pretty easy whatever I could do it perfect stuff and we have get two 175 zombie headshots again perfect Perfect! Oh my gosh! But this is where it actually gets really cool and what really got me excited for these order systems because in zombies it was always RNG. To get any consumables was always RNG. But now we have been given the option where it's no longer RNG. Actually, given Newton's cookbook was a thing, so that wasn't RNG, I just remembered. But regardless, right now we have a way to actually earn a very specific consumable if you wanted to do it. And as you guys can see, this is the reward for completing this one. You get uh, three special or three charges of the consumable of the special meter. So cool. Absolutely great. And then we have the weekly orders. Acquire 30 medals from completing objectives. That's not a problem at all. You get those... Uh, pretty often if you're doing the Easter eggs, I think, excuse me, I just drank a sun kiss, but regardless, I think you get those just by um, doing the Easter egg steps. I think, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's when you're actually doing the Easter egg steps and something pops up on screen after you complete it, correct? If that's the case, then this isn't a problem at all. I'll complete it anyways. Next one we have is open 75 doors, please. A weekly order, 75 doors, uh, easy, easy stuff. And then of course we also, for all actually for all of these, we get a rare supply drop, so eh, it's okay. I mean, that's what you get from the same thing in zombies, or excuse me, multiplayer, you get rare supply drops, so no problem there. Then we have complete five boss battles, a really, really cool reward. Completely optionable too, so I just think this is really, really cool. I like the boss battle ones too because it just motivates people to do the Easter egg more often, or a reason to go back and do the Easter egg, which is something I'm going to be doing very soon, but as you guys know, 
that's not it because they did not only add the orders. They actually added this quartermaster thing. And right, right away, you don't see anything, I guess, too special. But if you go down the contracts, we actually have something special. And this is, this is even better. My gosh. So they just work very similar to how they work inside multiplayer. You have a timer to do this. But as you guys can see right here, this top one says kill a treasure zombie within three hours and it costs you of course 325 armory crits but look at the reward exactly you just know what you're going to get when you complete that so if you don't want to do this then that's completely fine if you don't want four max ammos which is something i want so i'm going to probably do very soon then i don't have to do this but since i want it i'm going to go do this and that's not a problem to kill a treasure zombie it's not difficult to do at all as long as you're just playing in fact you can force one to spawn inside the shadow throne so I don't know, it's pretty cool. Of course, we have this next one right here. Kill 150 zombies, well, excuse me, 175 zombies while using free fire. This one I probably won't do. Maybe I will, I don't know. It'll matter though, but again, I don't really have to if I don't want to. But look how many supply drops you're going to be getting. These things are going to refresh daily. My gosh, it was such a pain not being able to get zombie supply drops before. And this just makes it so much better. And the next one we have is kill, oh, well, this is easy. Look, and look at the, oh my gosh, beautiful reward too. But kill 250 zombies and you have about an hour and well, 50 minutes and of course you get four charges of insta kill perfect perfect stuff then perform 50 melee attacks zombie supply drop cool it's done 200 zombies with shell shocks that's going to be incredibly easy if you especially are running the easter egg and of course this is going to give you four charges of the nuke beautiful then after this you have survive okay this is something actually that i don't know i'm okay with because this is a minority here not mo most of them are not like this but as you guys can see it says survive 20 waves without leaving the morgue in the final reich and like i said i don't like these very specific things that you have to really really go out of your way to do i don't like them but i i get like these are just contracts and they're not in the order system and even if they do pop up in the order system as long as they stay a very vast minority then i don't have a problem with these as long as they don't because i'm not going to do this i don't think it's worth it because why would i do that no reason to do that but i guess it's there for i guess people who want to complete all of them i personally will never do that after that we have okay this one actually confuses me because this is another one that's very specific but I don't exactly understand what it means. It says complete the right hand of God step with 80, excuse me, 80% structural integrity. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. If anybody can tell me what that means, I, I would love to hear. Obviously, you get a rare supply drop to do this. So not a real big problem here. And then you have reach wave 30 in Grossen House. Again, this one's a little specific that I don't really like, but I don't know. I will, even if it told me to reach, uh, well, you, whoa, you only have 35 minutes to complete this. Can you even get to round 30 in 35 minutes? I don't think you can, guys. Okay, that sounds a bit impossible. <laughs> okay, we have one hard one. Okay, and one ridiculous one, we should say. Then acquire 10,000 jolts in a single match. Not a problem at all. All, all I want to say is after this that I'm loving these things. One thing that we have to ask for now is something like Newton's cookbook or something like the, I guess, what are they called inside the multiplayer? There's the contracts and then there's the uh, collections. If we can get collections or something similar to them, then this would be perfect. But, and it's already really good. I'm not to take anything away from how it currently is, but right now it's really good. But the only thing that I think they could do better than this is just to add the collections, things that aren't exactly like collections, but give you another option to get whichever consumable you really want. You could just Crow craft whichever consumable you want and I think that'd be better for the game as a whole because then you could grind the game more have more reason to grind the game but I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking about this I just spat on my mic and that's gross let me oh that's gross okay anyways but I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking about this update you guys liking this order system or what because I'd really like to hear what you guys are thinking because I can't think of one negative that came out of this update and Tell me what you guys are thinking about all the updates. My gosh, I thought I wasn't going to like the constant updates because I thought it would make the game too glitchy, which may still happen in the future, but let's hope that's not the case. But regardless, I still want to hear what you guys think about all this stuff. Do you guys like the updates that we're constantly getting for this game? And thank Fortnite for that. We got to give Fortnite credit for making Call of Duty step up and do this. But regardless, again, I, just again, tell me what you guys think about this. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and do all the normal YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, bell 
well, share, and watch the video multiple times over, and also hit the bell. I know it's very important. That's all I'm going to say this time. I'll, at the end of all my videos, I constantly stress the bell, and just, just, I'm just going to say it one last time. The bell is very important. But anyways, I'm going to go, and I will catch you guys on my next video.